It looks like the first storm of the season will be hitting us tonight, and it's forecast to be a big one. Someone who doesn't have to worry about the weather is our new president-elect William Jefferson Clinton, or Bill as his friends call him, who is packing up the governor's mansion in Little Rock, Arkansas, and preparing for his move to the White House. His wife Hillary has already visited twice and is excited about not only relocating to Washington, but also becoming the new but first lady. All the and here at 11. the station, we wish them so both color that one the red. To come. So let's get there back to our music. Just the number 11. How many ones in number 11? Two. Two. Okay, just the red though. I can't do it, it's too small to fill in. You're right, it is small, but you can do it, just go slowly. I can't, I tried. You know the word can't isn't in the dictionary? But I can't do it, mommy. Do you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna get rid of all those cans. Did you know you could do that? Okay. Okay. Take a deep breath. Are you ready to blow all the cans away? Do it. <laughs> you see it? Be going away. There they go. Adios. Okay, now. You can do anything, right? But right. It's dirty. Maybe you have to clean up and tidy everything away before you can go. Hey, Chris. When? See a little man coming? Yeah, he's putting his paints away. Huh. Where are you taking him this weekend? Oh, out in the boat, like always. No sailing. There's a storm coming. Oh, okay, then we'll just get out of the harbor. We won't go out. Promise me? I've asked you not to take him before. He told me you went sailing anyway. Well, you know how much he loves it. It isn't safe, Quinn. Okay, I promise. <sighs> I wish you'd have tried to like the boat a little bit. How was I supposed to find time to do that? I was raising a child going to school. I didn't have much time to play. I'm not talking about play. You know, I bought the boat for a business. That's why I, you know, got that dive shop and the keys for both of us. Exactly. You run off and buy something on the other side of the country. We talked about that for years. That was before I had a child to think about. Well, I am thinking about the child. It's a great place to raise a kid. The keys are beautiful. And I hope you enjoy yourself but you're not taking my son. I could have been so perfect. I mean, you, you could have got your law degree in Miami, you could open a practice in the Keys. The weekends, we could have just enjoyed the sand and the sun and just... Perfect for you. That's not the way you felt when we met. I was younger then, it was exciting. <laughs> well, so then I got out of the Navy and it wasn't exciting anymore. This is going nowhere. Take Mark for the weekend, show him the boat. Yeah, well, I have it. I don't want your damn boat. And uh, what about the money in the house? Look, that is not what this is about. I want it to be fair. Fair? I put you through law school. And now you have your attorney buddies gang up on me. I can't even go to the mailbox without getting some legal mumbo jumbo from one of your lawyers. Quinn? Get yourself a lawyer. You can't do this by yourself. I don't want one, okay? I want my family back. I get, I get my son one weekend a month. When it's final, it'll be different. Yeah, yeah, I probably won't get him at all. No! How do we end up like this? Maybe it's because we're, we're so different. We always were. Why'd you marry me? Because I loved you. I have to ask you this. Please, can we work this out? Just, just the two of us without, you know, all these lawyers confusing everything. Please? Daddy! Hey, you're! Oh, you're my man, how are you there, sailor? 
Very good, Captain. Well, that's good to hear. Now let's see if we can find us some pirates in that harbor. What do you say, huh? So you never did answer my question. You know the answer. Alrighty then. That's me and you go have us a good time, huh? Bye, Maki Poo. Call me before night night. I love you. Bye, Mommy. Hi, I'm the harbor master, Bill Sowers. I'd like to thank you for driving down all this way under these conditions. They said the storm was going to slow down when it crossed Baja, but it must have picked up some offshore have moisture. Have you found the boat? Uh, not yet. As I told you on the phone, we received a distress call from the Ocean Dreamer about 8.45. That is your boat, right? My husband. We received a second radio message about 15 minutes after that. This one was a mayday. What did he say? That they'd lost their mast and were taking on water. Where are they now? That's why we ask you to come in. Do you know how many people might have been aboard the boat and where they were heading? This would help us with our search patterns if we you knew You mean that. you haven't found them? No, ma'am. We've had one of our cutters out since we got the call. Dana Point and Catalina have also got boats looking for them. So, once again, do you know who was on board and where they were heading? My husband, Quinn Halloran, and my son, Mark. And they were going? I told him not to take the boat. He promised me. Was he an experienced sailor? Six years, ex-Navy. As soon as these winds abate, we'll have the helicopters up running search patterns. That'll help us in locating... No, you can't wait! You have to send the helicopters up now! That's impossible. They, they can't fly in this. No, my little boy is out there! I'm sorry. I really am. We're doing all we can. Excuse me. Harbor Master. Or was it? Was there anyone on board? There was a young child as well. How old was your son? Four, he's four. Uh, a young boy, four years old, plus the captain. Yeah. Please, please tell me what they're saying, please. Please, Mrs. Halloran, I know this is difficult. Give me one minute. I understand. No, absolutely not. They give it another six hours for changing parameters. I know that. So keep it search and rescue until we lose a lane. I don't care about that. I've got the mother here with me. They found the boat. It's capsized about seven miles out. 
There's no one on board. <gasps> I've ordered them to continue the search patterns for the rest of the day. <laughs> then it becomes a recovery operation. What, what does that mean? It means we've done all we can. And in these conditions, I wouldn't be honest if I offered you much hope. All we can do is pray, Mrs. Halloran. Particularly good there. Oh, it's uh, <laughs> oh, it's a very... <laughs> oh, you have to see this. It's good. See? I love this running on the beach and the horse is like in the trailer. Oh, well, that's the end of tape two. Uh huh. Want to see more? No. Okay, Steve, talk us into it. The rest of our Caribbean vacation coming up. And I used to think slideshows were bad. Who guess slides? <laughs> Kristen, can we make more popcorn? Sure. Popcorns or movies, can't beat it. How are the kids? Well, Josh is living with his mother, but I get blamed for any trouble he gets in. And Rachel's back at college, and we'll see how that goes. I've got an idea. How about if you and Steve join us next year? Nothing crazy. We don't have to go far. Just drive up the coast. That sounds lovely, but it's really difficult for Steve to take time off work right now. Things are rough, huh? Has the thing worked out with his son? No, it's been really hard on Steve. Josh has a preliminary hearing at the end of the month. Of course, Steve wants to be there for him, so he's going to have to take more time off work. When it rains, have you thought about taking a home study course and taking the bar? You were so close to becoming a lawyer. People told me... I was a different person then. Kristen, that person is still inside you. Mwah. Beer run, baby. Hey, Steve. I was just saying how we should take a weekend away, just the four of us. Do a little wine tasting. Will Ronnie video the whole thing? Yeah. <laughs> Only the good bits. But we could do it really cheap. I know this hotel in Napa is less than 200 a night. Yeah, you know, I'd love to, but... Uh... Like I said, Marge, Steve is super busy right now. Yeah, I'm super busy getting beer for everyone. Okay. How about we start slowly, a day out, just you and me. We'll stay local, maybe get a facial, and definitely go shopping. Popcorn. Welcome back to Ronnie's Funny Sound Videos. We'll be watching as Marge forgets to charge the camera batteries and I become a pirate of the Caribbean. It's he fun. thinks he's Johnny Depp. It's windy and we're a zillion miles from LA. Where, where the hell are we, Marge? Santa? <sighs> Santa Alicia. Santa Alicia. A tiny Caribbean island and in the spirit of Christopher Columbus, Sir Francis Drake and our little buddy Gilligan, we are going on a four-day cruise and dive adventure. I'm king of the world! <laughs> Let's see if I can find our captain. The father and son run this boat, and they are both gorgeous. Uh, they, they're not that good looking. Yes, they are. No. Hello. Hey, Ronnie. <laughs> yes, they Ronnie, are. Ronnie, why is this green light playing? And here's our first mate, Matthew. Mark, the camera man. Hey, uh, say hello to the friends back home, Matthew. Hi. So, uh, you're Canadian, right? Yes, sir. So how many languages do you speak? Uh, 
English, German, Spanish, and French. And uh, you know what they call someone who speaks four languages? A quadrilingual? A smart kid. And do you know what they call someone who only speaks one language? I have no idea, sir. American! <laughs> smart. She does smart. that when Bring I cry. Bring the camera up. When you embarrass Um, that's all there is. Yeah. Mars for having charged the battery. I didn't forget. Okay, I forgot. What is it? My son. He's alive. Unbelievable. Could this really be him? Will you just talk to me about this for one minute? There's nothing else to talk about. I'm going to Santa Alicia. Okay, but can you just slow down? There's no flights to Santa Alicia tonight. I might take the first flight out in the morning. You know, Mark said it took him forever to figure out how to get there. It's like a world away. Are you absolutely sure this is him? There hasn't been one minute in 14 years that I haven't thought about him. What he might be like, what he might have become. You think I wouldn't recognize him? Look, I'm just trying to be supportive here. But I don't know what to do. How about I, how about I call the dive shop? And say what? He could run and I'll never see him. Then let's call the local police. No! I don't know what they might do, what they might say to him. Kristen, I'm worried this might be too much for you. What am I supposed to do? Stay crippled by my grief for the rest of my life? Is that what you want? Is that who I am to you? Of course not. I have to do this. Then let me come with you. After Josh's hearing. I, I can't risk losing him again. I have to go now. This is my chance. This is our chance. I really think you should get cancellation insurance just in case Eduardo interrupts your trip. Who's he? Eduardo is a tropical storm. Hopefully, it'll stay out in the Atlantic and not bother you, but I would get the insurance just in case. No, we'll take it. Good. I'll issue the tickets. So what's the plan once you get there? Bring him back. He is 18. Yeah, I was there when he was born, remember? I'm not trying to be smart. I'm just trying to help. Sorry, it's just... It's OK. How about Quinn? What? What do you mean? Well, I might still be married to him. I'm married to you. But your divorce was never finalized. If he's alive... You think I want him back? Absolutely not. Here are your tickets and your boarding passes. And inside, you'll find your hotel confirmation. Oh, and don't forget your passport. I, I don't have a passport. Oh, well, then you might not be able to use these tickets. Where can I get a passport? Go to the post office, fill out a form, send it in with the photograph and a well, check. That's too long. This is an emergency. Isn't there something else my wife can use? You have a driver's license, right? Yes. Well, you can get on the plane with that. And if you bring along your birth certificate, that may get you into Santa Alicia. And if not, will they send her back? Hopefully. Hopefully? It's possible they may hold her for a while in custody. That's ridiculous. Please, just give me the tickets. Taxi's on his way. You can do this, Chris. I believe in you. What if he doesn't want to know me when I meet him? There's mother. You're, you're a great mother. I haven't been a great mother to your children, Steve. The boy's gone to their mom when they needed anything. It's not your fault. <sighs> Don't second guess yourself. Sometimes things just, they don't turn out the way you hope. Will this turn out the way I hope? Taxi's here. You ready to do this? Yeah. 
Yes, I am. And no matter what happens, you have a family here waiting for you to come home. Go ahead, take a peek. Such beautiful scenery out there. It's a shame to fly over it and not see it as the angels do. Just go ahead. It's breathtaking, you're right. But I'll, I'll feel happy when we land. You and me both, sister. <laughs> Next in line. Do you have a passport? No. I... I lost it. We need some assistance at desk two. Possible illegal entry. You called your husband and he vouched for you. Can I go now? Not that quickly. We don't have anyone to vouch for him. He's just a phone number you gave us. He's my husband. So you say. I also call the airline and they don't have a record of a passport being left on the plane. Maybe they haven't found it yet. Maybe. Listen, Mrs. Collins. We have rules and laws that have to be followed, just like in America. What do you think would happen to me if I tried to enter your country with this? I don't know. I do. It's my job to know. I would be refused admission and deported at my own expense. Well, it was an accident that I lost it, and you have my driver's license. <laughs> do I look like budget rent-a-car to you? I need a passport. Your license and this can be bought on any street corner or printed up on any home computer these days. And it's not even a certified copy. Please, you have to let me in. I think my son is here, and I haven't seen him in so long. Don't you have children? Yes, I do. And my oldest is away working. I haven't seen him in two years. Well, I haven't seen my son in 14. Okay. We're a small island, and we can bend the rules from time to time, so this is what I'm prepared to do. You fill out the lost passport form, and I'll submit it to your local consulate. Once filed, I'll admit you into Santa Alicia for 48 hours, during which time you must report to the local police officer and have him extend your visa. Miss that deadline, and I will come and get you myself. And I know where you're staying. Thank you. I'll, I'll take care of it. Good. And say hello to your son for me. Yes, Mom. Which hotel? No. You know where Caribbean Dive Adventures is? Yes, I do. Okay, good.
G'day. You're Kristen Collins, right? The American lady who got in last night? Yeah. Yeah, well, welcome to the islands and to my hotel. I'm Patrick, and let's uh, get you a nice table, shall we? Oh, I don't think I'm going to have breakfast. I just wanted to find someone who might know something about Caribbean dive adventures. Captain John's outfit? Oh, his boat, the Phoenix, is the busiest on the island. And they have a dive shop not too far away from here. Yeah, I went there last night. There was a sign saying they were closed until Wednesday. Oh, well, they're probably out on a charter then. Lucky for you, they weren't closed up for the season. A lot of folks already are. Well, look, you're not going to hook up with them today, so let's get you to that table and start the morning off right, shall we? Come on. Well, I haven't eaten in a while. Oh, well, you'll like this. It's got a lovely view of the beach. It's right up here. See? You suit your fancy? You're not from around here. Me? No, I'm from all over, but originally from Oz. Australia? That's a long way from the Caribbean. Oh, yeah, it makes for a hell of a commute in the morning. <laughs> no, look, I'm just joshing with you. I've been here for six years now. Let me get you an orange juice. Where are you from? California. Oh, no, well, used to work on a cruise line that sailed out of San Pedro down to Mazatlan, but my favorite place in all of California is Malibu. You ever go there? Yeah, I've been there. Oh, that surf is almost as good as back home. And the birds are amazing. You know, there's something about an Aussie accent works wonders with an American girl. Huh. Mile over there. What, what are they doing? Oh, they're getting ready to board up in case we get any weather coming through. After what happened last year, the folks around here don't want to take any chances. You had a bad storm? No, we were fortunate. Ivan just grazed us, but... Other places weren't so lucky, but it's going to be days at least until we get any weather coming in, if we do at all. Until then, it's going to be just like this, clear and sunny. So tell me some more about Captain John and his son. Oh, they're good people. And that boy, Matthew, he is shaping up to be a real heartbreaker with the holiday girls that come here during the season. He's giving me some stiff competition. Now, see if there's something that catches your eye. My tip is the Eggs Benedict. They are the most wicked thing on this island. Apart from me, of course. <laughs> Hello? Miss Collins? Yes, it is. Your call? Thank you. Hey, honey. Thanks for calling me back, Steve. These hotel phone calls cost a fortune. That's OK. I was so worried when I heard from immigration yesterday. I know. I have to report to the local police if I'm going to stay. And are you? I have to. I found their shop. But they're off the island. They'll be back in two days. Thanks for watching my back. It's worth watching. So now Rachel's in trouble. She wasn't on campus a week. She was called down to the dean's office. Why? Same as before. Drinking, boys. How about Josh? Well, he's doing his best. He's scared about what might happen when he goes to court. Tell him not to worry. Just make sure he dresses appropriately and have him listen to the judge, and the most he'll get is a few hours of community service. I'll tell him, thanks. How are you doing? Good. Really? Yeah. Good. You call me if you need anything, okay? I will. I love you, Steve. I love you too. Always have, always will. You be careful.
want a gore? Hi, American lady. Kristen. It's, it's me, Patrick, from the hotel, remember? Where are you going? The boat's back. Have you seen them? Well, I'll tell you what, instead of us yelling at each other, why don't you come up for a drink and I'll see if I can figure out which boat you're talking about. Seems like I'm always showing you to a table. Now, you're going to have to tell me what boat you're talking about. Captain John's, the Phoenix. Yeah. Well, it was parked on the... Uh... The dock? Yeah. Yeah. But it wasn't due back until tomorrow. Well, he'd probably come back for Junkanoo. What's that? Junkanoo? Ah, it's a carnival. It starts at sundown. Everyone on the island's going to be there. Everyone? Everyone. If they're back, they'll be there. Where is it? Well, it's a street festival, so it's everywhere. It's up and down. And I'll tell you what, I'll take you. But first, you have to tell me what's your poison. What? Your poison. What are you drinking? Oh, no, thanks. Oh, come on. If you want me to take you to Junkanoo, you have to let me buy you a drink. It's the local custom. Come on. Well, we got an hour to kill. Maybe I can tempt you with the finest brew known to man. I don't drink beer. Wine it is. Hey, Melvin, can you bring me a glass of red wine for the lady? You know, you're kind of different from the regular tourists that we get here. For a start, you're an American and we get mostly Europeans. Plus, I noticed on your hand you've got a wedding ring, but you're traveling alone, so what's that about? My husband couldn't make it. Oh, I see. Your husband couldn't make it, so you're here alone, slap in the middle of hurricane season. Are you sure you're not here for something else? Like what? Like finding a man, looking to get your groove back? No, I'm not looking to get my groove back. Red wine for the lady. Cheers. Are you always this persistent? <laughs> the business on the island is quiet this time of year, and there's a bunch of bloody storms out there already. What do you do when there are no tourists? Oh, some people work on their shops, and some people fix their boats, and some, like me, just hang out and talk the days and nights away. Now, your guy, Captain John, he set up a life-saving program in the local schools, and his teaching has probably saved, like, 20 kids over the last couple of years, so everyone on the island loves him. And he's better in the water than I am, and that's saying something. What is that? Junkanoo's starting. Style. Everyone is here? Yeah, on one of these streets, yeah. I'm gonna look around. What, the Captain John? so they can break it open like a piñata. Here. What is that? It's a lucky charm. Put it on, make a wish.
Thanks for the lift. Uh, I'll see you when you get back. Check that out. Can I help you? Um, Can I help you? Are you all right? You look like you've just seen a ghost. <sighs> Are those for me? Yeah, I have to get my visa extended. I don't have the right papers. Ah, you're the lady with the lost passport. I've been expecting you. Sit down, please. Immigration sent over your papers. So you filed a lost passport form with the U.S. consulate, and your birth certificate isn't a certified copy? No. Well, I think we can let it slide this once. You don't look like a spy to me. Mm. But if you're going to be doing much traveling... No, I'm not just here. Well, fine. Then I'll sign an extension for you. Is two weeks long enough? Yeah, it should be. Copy this for my files. I'll let you know what the consulate says when I hear back from them. I'd like to stamp it for you, but uh, we're out of ink. My friend's picking some up while he's off island. Is that the person who dropped you off, Captain John? Hmm, maybe I was wrong. Perhaps you are a spy. Oh, I'm just, just kidding. Uh, yes, Captain John's on the case. He's picking me up some printing supplies while he's in Puerto Rico. Hmm. When will he be back? Oh, about a week. Did his son go with him? No, Matthew just dropped him off at the airport. Uh, why? Do you know them? No. No, I don't. Thank you, um... Officer Bowden. Officer Bowden, thank you. Mrs. Collins, if you don't know Captain John, how did you know his name? And how did you know the other person in the car was his son? Some friends of mine were here in the summer diving. They told me about him. I see. Well, have a good day. Hi. How are you? Good. I was just looking at your boat. Ah, it's no problem. Would you like to come on board? No, no, I can see fine from here. Thank you. So, uh, where are you from? The uh, hotel, the, the Grand Vista. <laughs> I know that. I mean, um, what country? Oh. <laughs> the U.S. California. Oh, that's awesome. We don't get many Americans around here. I'm actually Canadian myself. Haven't been back there since I was four. My name's Matthew, or Matt. I even respond to hey you. Oh, sorry about that. Um, what should I call you, ma'am? Kristen. Well, we just got in last night for the Junkanoo. You were there. I think uh, everybody on the island was. Did you go? Yeah. 
Um, can I charter the boat? Is that possible? Oh, of course, yeah. Uh, just not today. I need to wash her down. But how about tomorrow? Where's mine? Great. Where would you want to go? Oh, anywhere. I don't mind. Oh, that's good, because we kind of need to stay close to shore. We had some problems with the radio on the last trip, and I wouldn't want to go too far without a radio. At least not this time of year. Really? Oh, yeah, there's nothing wrong with the Phoenix, though. She's the best boat in the Caribbean. We'll just have to stay close on these uh, inshore reefs here. But there is excellent diving. I don't want to dive. Oh, then why would you want to go out? Just to see everything that there is to see. Oh, that makes it real easy. We'll just give the Phoenix a rest and take the Zodiac. So, uh, how many? How many what? Passengers? You, your husband? Just me. Oh, OK. Isn't there something you want to ask me? What? Something important? I don't know. What? <laughs> how much will it cost? Oh, how much will it cost? <laughs> $400 US, please. That's fine. Can you leave a, a, a deposit? Oh, you take uh, credit cards? Sure do. Oh, actually, could I see your passport, please? The bank insists oh, that we write. Oh, I don't have a passport, but I, but I do have a birth certificate with my maiden name, Shepard, and a driver's license with my current photograph. And, and I have a visa extension, which I just got from the local police. Is that going to work for you? <laughs> that's, that's more than enough. Thank you. Sign this, please. Sure. We're gonna have a great day tomorrow. Any um, special requests? Fishing rods, wine, anything? No, I'll, I'll leave that up to you, Captain. <laughs> great. Well, in that case, I'll get her ready. Just um, be here around eight, and don't forget your sunscreen and your swimsuit. Swimsuit? Yeah. Right. Find the view interesting? Do you have a problem with the truth, Mrs. Collins? I saw you down at the dock earlier with young Matthew, and you've been sitting here watching him for hours. I don't mean to pry, but do you mind telling me why? Isn't that prying? We just heard back from the US consulate. They couldn't understand why you had us file a lost passport form. You see, they say you've never been issued a passport. So, unless you can explain to me how you can lose something that never existed, you're gonna be spending the night in a cell and you're gonna be out of here on the first flight in the morning. Well, I... Allow me to escort you to the station. So you're telling me that this man that everybody loves faked his own death, stole your son, and moved to a tiny island in the Caribbean? Yes. It would help if you had something to back up your claim, like a marriage license, anything. All I have is this. 
How old is this photograph? Fifteen years. Mrs. Collins, the child could be anyone. I couldn't tell you what he looked like now any more than you could tell me what my children will look like in 15 years. It would help if you had a photograph of your ex-husband. I don't. I got rid of everything when... Why would I make this up? You have my word. You gave me your word that you lost your passport. We both know that that was a lie. I keep copies of everyone's files who comes through here, including yours. Here. Take a look at these. This is your supposedly dead husband's passport and Matthew's. But the name isn't uh, Quinn Halloran. It's John Williams. And he's from Canada, not Los Angeles. That's a forgery. Which is more likely? That he created an entire new life for himself and his son, or that this is just a case of mistaken identity? After all, he has the documents to prove who he is. You don't. Look. I know that this is how it seems. I know you're upset, so I'm not going to force you to leave the island right now. Thank you. We'll check on his passport the same as we did with yours. But I don't want you telling young Matthew any of this. Because if what you tell me is true, Quinn may be dangerous, and he could run again. If I find out you've done anything to jeopardize this investigation by telling Matthew, I'll have you off of St. Alicia within the hour, and this will be all over. Understood? Do you have all the details you need? Names, numbers, I'm on it. Remember, not one word to Matthew. Hello, you've reached Caribbean Dive Adventures. We're underwater right now and obviously can't get to the phone, so leave a message after the beep. Hey, John, call me as soon as you get back. I had this woman, Kristen Collins, in here tell me this crazy story about you. I'll tell you all about it over that beer you owe me. Matthew? Avoid oh, yourself. Come on board. You know, I, I haven't been on a boat in, in, in 20 years. Really? Yeah. You have life jackets, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. All right, when you're getting on the Zodiac, you sit in the back next to the outboard, OK? And you just got to be real careful, you know? Keep all your weight inside the boat. Otherwise, we hit a, a big wave. I might have to come fish you out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, don't worry, though. Just relax. I'll do all the work. It's easy. Look, twist it this way to go faster and back to slow down. Piece of cake. Just put this on first. What is it? It's called a kill switch. It's just a cord connected to the engine. That way, you fall overboard, pulls out, cuts off, and your boat won't sail off into oblivion. Oh. You can swim back. How's that sound? You want me to let go of these ropes? <laughs> well, you're going to have to to drive this boat. Here, you promised. I never did. There you go. OK. Remember, twist it towards me to go faster, and back to slow down. Head out that way. See, you're doing great. You're a natural. Good. Good, good. Keep it up. Check it out.
Did you build this? Yeah, me and my dad. No one knows it's here. Now I do. Here's your wetsuit. Oh, no. Remember I said I didn't want to dive? Oh, come on. You have to try it. Just on the surface for now. I'll put air in your jacket and you won't sink. It's just like snorkeling. Only water doesn't get in your mouth. It's perfect, right? I can't. You can, I promise you. Trust me, you'll just be suspended, floating, looking down at all the fish and the wonderful coral. Really, Matthew, I'm sorry, I, I can't do it. You know there's no such word as can't in the dictionary? Now just relax. Take a deep breath, hold it for a couple seconds, and blow all the cans away. <sighs> My mother taught me that once. And you know what? She's right. It always works. I do it to all the nervous divers. You just gotta try it. Good. This is wonderful. I know, isn't it? How did you end up here? Well, my dad bought the shop three years ago. And before that, we had a charter yacht in Honduras. We've been all over. Are you in school? Yeah. Everywhere he went, Dad made sure I was in school. He helped me out with classes at night and always insisted that I finish my semester before we changed ports. Why'd you keep me moving around? Well, Dad's sort of a genius. You know, he'd buy a small business in an out-of-the-way place, and pretty soon he'd build it up until it was a huge success. And then he'd just sell it. And then we'd start all over again. And that's how I ended up here. But why not keep the business, if it's doing so well? I don't know. It's not really what Dad's all about, you know? Your childhood. Do you remember where you grew up? Oh, yeah. 
Sure do. I remember my mother. She was so beautiful. In every way, too. She just... I can remember her pushing me on the swing in the backyard when I was small. <laughs> she was always so kind, you know, reading me stories and books. She called me little Marky. <laughs> Mark's my middle name. Do you have a picture of her? No. I wish I did. died in a terrible fire when I was little. I can remember like it was just yesterday. My father took me out. It was so stormy on the boat. It was raining and cold. When we got back, we'd heard that the house had burned down to the ground, with everything in it. The pictures, our furniture, the toys. We lost everything. My dad was so upset. We just never went back. We used to talk about her all the time, though. What did he say? She was an angel. And we should never forget her. We still go to church, the first Sunday of the month and light three candles. One for her, and two for me and Dad. They represent our family. And if she were still alive today, we'd all be together. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make you cry. again tomorrow. Really? Well, hey, tomorrow's on me. No charge. <laughs> you already paid double. I did? <laughs> yeah. Well, when you asked me for 400, you should have really bargained me down to the real price, which is 200. But uh, you said yes too quickly. <laughs> it was worth every cent. Gosh, the last American couple we took out argued about every single penny. Marge and Ron Satrum. You know them? Mm. That's how I found out about you in your boat. Well, I hope I lived up to my reputation. Matthews, there's something that I have to tell you. I'm not here as a tourist. I came here for a reason. Don't say it. I got it. I mean, you figure that if I can get Marge to dive, then I can get you to become a pro, right? Well, hey, we'll go deeper tomorrow. How's that sound, okay? Okay. All right. 8 a.m. sharp, huh? Steve, he's, he's incredible. He's, he's everything I could have ever dreamed of. I, mean, I had the most amazing day. I know. No, Quinn isn't here. It was just Mark and me. It was perfect. Hello? Hey, son. Hey, Dad. Hey, hey, everything's good here. Oh, um, Jose and Maria send their best. How's things going? Great. Just rent a day charter in the Zodiac, up to Gibbs Key for a dive and a picnic. Hey, that's cool. What else is going on? Officer Bowden left you a pretty strange message. It was actually about the American woman I took out today. Said that she had some crazy story about you, and you should probably call him back. What was her name? Kristen. Kristen what? Collins? But she had another name written down on her birth certificate. I wrote it down when I called her charge it. Hold on. Her other name was Shepard. 
How old was she? Um, a little bit younger than you. Did she say anything else? <laughs> About what? About anything. Think. Well, she said some friends recommended our boat. <laughs> The ones from L.A.? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was a bit weird. She was acting really nervous, and she said that she had, you know, hated boats, even though she'd been married to a sailor before. I don't, I don't know. Did I do something wrong, Dad? No, 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 it's not you, it's her. Um, um, l listen, Matthew, you, you have to do exactly as I say, okay? I want you to wake Mavis up. Tell her to get all of our savings out of the bank and, um, and then I want you to go over to the boat and head out to Salt Cay. I will meet you there, OK? Wait, I don't understand. She already paid to go sailing again tomorrow, Dad. Look, don't worry about that. We will refund her money, OK? Just do what I say. Why? What's wrong? Look, son, I will tell you when I get there. But, Dad, what if I want to stay? You don't want to stay if that woman is around. But she was nice. Look, I don't care how nice she is. Explain it to you later. Are you still there? Matthew, are you there? Yeah, I'm still here. Please, son. Just do this one thing for me, okay? Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, Kristen, I have something for you at the desk. Is there a storm? More than a storm. Eduardo out in the Atlantic took a right-hand turn last night. It's now a Category 3 hurricane and building, and it's making a beeline right for us. But the weather's so beautiful. Yeah, you heard about the calm before the storm? Eduardo's pushing all the good weather before it, but when it hits, all hell is going to break loose. But you don't have to worry. The old Grand Vista, she's a hurricane shelter. In fact, we're going to open the doors to the locals in just a few minutes, and they can ride the storm out here. Well, is this a refund because of the hurricane? No, it's from young Matthew. He came by last night. It's the leftover money from your charter. Well, did he cancel because of the storm? Well, I shouldn't think so, because he came over before 10 o'clock, and the hurricane hunters didn't get the word out about Eduardo's new track till after midnight. And he said something about he was leaving the island. He had to join his dad at Salt Cay. Did he say anything else? Yeah. Say goodbye. Last night. 
His father must have found out that I'm here and told him to go. You have a very active imagination. I am not imagining that the boat is gone and the shop is closed up. You know, if you haven't noticed, we have a hundred year storm coming our way. And by this time tomorrow, it's gonna be pounding this island. Maybe Matthew just took the boat someplace safer to ride it out. Safer than the harbor? Where else around here could be safer than that, huh? There could be any number of reasons why. Or maybe his father told him to run. Oh, please. You never even called about his passport, did you? You know, I have a thousand residents on this island to worry about right now, not just one tourist. Maybe tomorrow, when this hurricane is gone, we can deal with this. No, it'll be too late by then. He will have gone again. What kind of police officer are you? You're gonna have to let him go for now, honey. It's all over the news about a hurricane heading straight for the islands. I can't. Not now. What about the police? No, the police? They don't even believe me, and I have no proof. Look, maybe I can dig something up. Did you, uh, did you get the police officer's fax or email or something? No, just the hotels, but I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be here. I'm going to find Mark. Kristen, please. Stay where you are. If this hurricane's as bad as they say it is, it's gonna be a monster. Okay. I love you. Hold all my calls, I'm going home. That's the back, but it should be sheltered from the hurricane. So is that all right, people? There's two beds in there, okay? Excuse me. Patrick, I need your help. Kristen, you're gonna have no, to wait. No, I, I need to find Matthew. Matthew? Not Captain John? No, Matthew is my son, and I need to find him now. Your son? Yeah, he told you Salt K? Yeah, Salt K. Where is it? Well, it's due south of here. Where's south? South is straight out the harbor. You keep the land to your back. No, you can't go there now. It's 20 miles of open ocean. Yeah, I we got some wicked that. weather coming. You can't survive a hurricane there. It's a flat salt marsh. She was going to Salt K. The hurricane coming in?
You bastard! You goddamn! You stole my son! Calm down! Oh. I didn't have a choice, okay? You're God. taking him away from me! Chris. Where is he? He's out in the fresh water. He's gonna be back any minute. Now calm down. <laughs> I'm sorry. A few more weeks and your attorneys were gonna take him away from me. Well, instead of trusting me, you took him and ran! Look, I gave you everything you need, okay? I gave you the house, the money, the car, everything you needed to continue on with your life. My life! My life was over when you took Mark. I'm sorry, okay? I wanted, I wanted to give him a chance. I wanted him to grow up in the city with all the crime and the drugs. That is crap! You just didn't want him to be with me! That's not true. I wanted him to have a chance and a good life. Without a mother? Well, would have had a father if he'd stayed with you? He's a good kid. He's a great kid. I did not do this to hurt you, okay? I just cannot take a chance on losing my son. So what do we do now? I want Mark. What about me? You can go to hell for all I care. Dad? Matthew! But that's the woman. She's the one. I told him you're from the IRS. <laughs> Come on board, Matthew. We need to talk. Matthew, son, I know I told you that, uh, that this woman was uh, from the IRS, but uh, that wasn't true. Why would you? She... <sighs> She's your mother. And she came here to bring you home. My mother? You want my mother? I thought you were dead. Dad? I'm sorry, I am. When you were a little boy, your mother and I were, were getting divorced. I was scared I was gonna lose you, so I, I just took you away. I made a mistake. A big mistake. I did it for all the right reasons. I'm gonna fix the radio, so why don't you two, um, go down to the beach, take a little walk on shore. Everything she said was true. Matthew even closed their bank account before he left. So what you gonna do? I have a helicopter coming over from Provo. It's picking me up and then I'm going to Salt K. And then what? <laughs> you tell me. Kidnapping, immigration fraud, false passports. It's a laundry list of charges. Our Captain John could be going to jail for a very long time. Is that really necessary? I hope not. 
Why didn't you tell me yesterday? I wanted to. I tried. All these years I tried to remember your face. What you looked like. The things you taught me. And now you're here. It must have been really hard for you. I would wake up to your scent every day. And I would bury myself in the pillow and try to breathe you in. But it only lasted for a second and then it was gone. I couldn't stand to open my eyes. I can't believe you're here. Can't's not in the dictionary, remember? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we gotta get back to the boat. Dad, what is it? The hurricane, it's coming. Eduardo? It's way north of us. Well, not anymore. Turn last night, and it's speeding up. It's already a category four. I didn't hear anything about it. Well, the radio was broke, but I, uh, I fixed it. It's on every frequency. Maritime posted a uh, warning stretched out 500 miles. It's true, they were boarding up in San Alicia. There's no shelter on this island. Well, maybe we can make a run for Abergree Cay. They got a harbor. San Alicia's way closer. I know, but I can't go back there. They'll be looking for me. So you're just gonna keep running? I got no choice, son. Now come on. Receiving us. Come in, please. There's a helicopter coming to take us out. We can beat the storm. Phoenix, this is Officer Bowden on board Provo Air Rescue. What is your exact location on Salt K? Are you on the north end or the south end? Dad, they've got the police with them. If you tell them how to find us, you'll go to jail. Well, Matthew, if I don't, we could all die out here. But you'll die in prison. You can't live locked up. Look, I couldn't. I couldn't live the rest of my life if anything happened to the two of you, okay? I've already caused enough pain. Provo Air Rescue. This is the Phoenix. I repeat, this is the Phoenix. We're on the southwest end of Salt K, awaiting your instructions. Over. Stay where you are, Phoenix. We should be with you in six minutes. Is that you, John? No, Officer Bowden. It's Quinn hollering with my son Mark and his mother. We're, uh, we're waiting your arrival. Well, son, we had a good ride. Dad, please just take the boat. Go. Please. I can't. Bowden will have alerted every port in the Caribbean. And I'd rather serve my time here than rot in some jail cell in Haiti. We had a good ride, son. And take the key to the Zodiac. They'll never find you in it. It's too small. You sure? Don't ask me. Just take it. Take care of our boy, huh? Be seeing you around, sailor. Dad, wait. Please. You don't have to do this, Dad. Don't go. Please. I'm sorry, son. There's just... There's no other way. Your mother needs you now, okay? And you need her, too. I love you, Dad.
Oh. I'll be seeing you. All right, man. Yeah, you're okay. All right. Keep in touch. So I hope you don't mind. I just um, left your Los Angeles number with some locals, just in case anything, you know. You didn't give it to Patrick, did you? No, Good. no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's gonna be so different. America, you know? It's your home. Yeah. But your husband, uh, Steve. Yeah. You think he's gonna... Like a beach bum <laughs> like you? <laughs> you know, he has been wanting to learn how to surf ever since we met. Oh. Did I tell you how we met? No. Once upon a time, you're in for a long ride home. 